Uh, can you help us understand why it's so hard to quit? Well, for starters, a lot of us think that it's just a habit, but it isn't just a bad habit. Smoking is an addiction, and we have to start treating it that way. You're not the first person that has ever had to wrestle with this. And you're gonna have a lot of really good information there about making this life decision. All you need to do is listen, and you too could be a non-smoker. Smokers believe they smoke because they choose to. They can remember their first experimental cigarettes, but no smoker can remember the day they decided to become a regular smoker. That's because no smoker ever did. Ask any smoking parent whether they encourage their children to smoke. The answer is invariably an emphatic no. That's because all smokers sense that they fell into a trap and they don't want their children to fall into the same trap. Every time you smoke a cigarette, toxic gases pass into your lungs, then into your bloodstream where they spread to every organ in your body. A cigarette is made using the tobacco leaf, which contains nicotine and a variety of other compounds. As the tobacco and compounds burn, they release thousands of dangerous chemicals, including over 40 known to cause cancer. I had my first cigarette at age 13. And by at age 17 is when I really started smoking on a regular basis. And then in 2000 is when I found the little sore on the inside of my mouth and it wouldn't go away. And on a routine dentist appointment, he saw it and he thought it looked suspicious. So he did a biopsy. Well, it came back as mouth cancer. So I had to go through radiation. And then in December is when we discovered the tumor in my larynx. Now, cigarettes age your skin faster than anything else other than the sun. So smoking deprives the skin of oxygen and nutrients by affecting your blood vessels. And those chemicals that you alluded to, they trigger the destruction of what we need in our skin to keep it healthy and rosy collagen and elastin, the fibers that give your skin that youthful look to it. So let me start by asking you, what would your motivation be? I really don't know. I, well, I've worked with pulmonary patients, cancer patients. I think I'm, and seeing these commercials lately, I'm really afraid of ending up like that and my family watching me die like that. I do not want that to happen. The day of my surgery, I can remember smoking up to the front door of the hospital. That's how addicted I was. And I didn't know that I was so addicted until after I got out of the hospital. When I went home, I went to sleep. I went to play to my bedroom, picked up a cigarette, put it in my mouth, and lit it. And for the first time, I really looked at myself in a mirror. And I thought, Terry, what are you doing? You have a hole in your neck, and you're getting ready to use what did it to you. My advice to somebody who doesn't smoke, don't ever starve. My advice to those who do smoke, please quit or at least try. Remember, most people are not successful the first time. It takes a while. Do not stop trying. If you are determined, you can change any circumstance in your life. If you have the will to change, you can. Nobody can help you quit smoking. They can inspire you, but you have to do it.